Hey everyone, welcome to video series on electronics and electrical components. I thought I'd start with the resistor, because although the resistor is one of the most simple components, it's also one of the most common. And the form of resistance, although it's not necessarily always in a resistor, is an, a, is an essential electrical property that every component is going to exhibit. So first of all, the resistor itself uh, is usually a very small component, no larger than a couple of watts. Um, this particular size is rated by the amount of power or the amount of heat usually that it can withstand before failing. They're most often found in, on circuit boards. Uh, mostly older circuit boards are the only recognizable forms of a resistor. We can see a couple of simple examples of resistors here on this board. And a couple on a board like this as well. You can see a resistor here, resistor down there. On most modern boards, uh, there are going to be surface mount components, which are barely distinguishable from capacitors and diodes and other components. Uh, so they're very difficult to recognize. Uh, but the resistors are rated by the amount of power that they can withstand, the number of watts. The primary purpose of the component resistor is to block the flow of electricity. The name resistor, resistance, comes from resist, or to block something, to resist, to work against. So it restricts the flow of electrical current, uh, much like the size of a pipe in a water system. The smaller the pipe, the, more, the less water is going to be able to flow through it. The larger the amount of resistance from a resistor, the less current is going to be able to flow through it. So we can make the electronics behave the way they're supposed to. This is most common when they're paired with semiconductor devices like diodes, LEDs. They can't protect themselves. They don't limit their own current, so we have to put them with resistors so that we can limit the current externally. Now another, probably more important concept to realize with resistors is that a resistor converts electrical energy into some other form. Now if it's just a resistor, that's going to come off as heat. Sometimes we can't even tell. It's not enough heat to even, to even be able to feel. Uh, but in some components, like a, the, your stovetop range, uh, a griddle, those are resistors that are made specifically to generate heat. Now some of them are also made to generate light, like an incandescent light bulb is a resistor that's made to generate light. Uh, they're converting the electrical energy into another form. A motor has resistance. It converts the electrical energy into mo mechanical energy, into rotational energy. Uh, so it's very important to realize that resistors limit the flow of electricity, but resistance is a uh, concept that's uh, critical in every component. Now sometimes we can also use resistance to help us diagnose problems. Uh, most problems stem from the fact that somewhere in your circuit resistance is incorrect. If the resistance is supposed to be very low and becomes very high, uh, then we might say that the, the device is no longer going to be functioning at all. If the, device, if the resistance was supposed to be very high and becomes very low, then that would indicate that a component has failed and that too much current is going to be flowing through it. Usually when that happens, a breaker might trip or the flow of electricity is going to very quickly become zero uh, because some other component is going to be made to, to correct that problem. Let me show you an example of a component that has resistance, but the amount of resistance can indicate a problem. I'm going to go back to this circuit board right here. And this component is a fuse. Fuses are very common in devices that are connected to a wall outlet uh, or uh, even in small battery operated devices where we want to limit the flow of current so that we can have a sacrificial component that are usually fairly inexpensive, very easy to replace if something goes wrong. Now under normal operating circumstances, we don't want this component to be blocking the flow of electricity. So it should have a very low amount of resistance, usually less than one ohm of resistance. If something goes wrong and an excessive amount of current goes through it, this one is rated at just over six amps of current, then it'll fail. It'll essentially burn up and the amount of resistance will be extremely high. If the amount of resistance goes very high, then no more electricity can flow through the rest of the circuit, thereby protecting the downstream devices. Most problems come down to some form of resistance change. The resistance is not what it should be. So we can use that concept to keep in, to, and keep that concept in mind to help us figure out problems down the road. I'll have lots of videos that discuss different ways of troubleshooting circuits, different methods that we can use to solve and locate those problems, and plenty of other components that we can look at. But the resistor being one of the most simple is one of the easiest ones to discuss 
and is one of the most the most inexpensive common components that we find uh, that's going to be common on just about every circuit board. Uh, so this is the first of a series of videos. Uh, definitely hope you hope you stay tuned. Check out the rest of the videos, uh, and we'll have a lot of fun looking at electronics.